Part four already. It seems like only last week when I started this series. Oh yes, that's because it was last week when I started this series. This episode is called Removing the Cylinder and Piston, but I'll also be removing some other pieces as well. Like this really nice little hand wheel with its shaft. I'm taking the brass collar off the end of it, because that must come off to allow it to be withdrawn. And now I'm unscrewing the actuating arm, and immediately after I've done this I'm going to have a look at this arm, because I think it's not made right. It's not bad really, but there has been an error whilst making it. Someone's had to elongate two of the holes for the rivets, because I don't think the arm was quite long enough. I may make a new one of those yet. So here I'm unwinding the nut, which will allow me to withdraw the shaft, because I don't want to damage this. The shaft is very straight, very well made, and as I mentioned before, I do like the little hand wheel on the other end of it. I think I will leave this part running in real time. It's quite satisfying removing this nut from this long shaft. Just in case someone says, not enough removing of nuts from long shafts in this one. I quite enjoy the banter on some of the comments, it's quite funny. What I don't let through onto the channel though sometimes is when people start to become experts. Obviously I'm not the greatest expert in the world on this subject, it's just something I do. At the moment I'm stalling, I'm looking at all these lock nuts that I can't get a socket on, well not many of them, and they're all going to have to be undone using two small spanners, here's one of them, and very shortly there will be another one, yes here comes the other one. I can't really show much of this because my hands are in the way, but anyway you get the idea of what I have to do. For me this is maximo so tedioso, if there's such a phrase, it's very tedious and very slow but eventually all the nuts will be removed and I'm able to lift the cylinder off the main standard. A few minutes ago I was on the phone speaking to Philip at Blackgates Engineering and I asked Philip if I could go up to Blackgates with my video camera and take some shots of the engines he has on display and he said yeah no problem. So probably when I go up there later this week for some bits and pieces I will be taking some shots of some very nicely made Clarkson engines. They really are quite elegant and they have lots of nuts and bolts, but thankfully not too many lock nuts. I don't know what's going on on this one. When I actually did this job of unfastening all these nuts, it was terminally boring. So I speeded the video up because I can stand it no longer. And thanks to the magic of video, in no time at all, the cylinder is loose from the standard. It was now possible to put it in the drilling machine and drill it out tap in size in order to allow me to thread this exhaust outlet half inch by 32 threads per inch to take a suitable exhaust pipe. In the first episode, I showed these marks around the top of the standard. I could cover this up easily by putting some quarter inch brass banding around it, or I could just clean up the metal with a needle file and some emery cloth and paint it as it's part of the standard. I'll see what looks best as the rebuild progresses. The crosshead on the piston rod is a very good fit in the standard, and I'm actually quite pleased overall with the machining. As you can see, there are no piston rings of any type. I'll probably end up making a new piston so I can use a single silicone piston ring. I'm not sure whether this is right though. Whoever's built the engine has machined off quite a lot at the bottom of the trunk guide, but it will look alright when it's all painted. I will check this against the engine up at Blackgates Engineering, which is exactly the same model, but really beautifully built. All I've got now is a kit of parts and bits and pieces in a box on the bench. Oh, and plenty of lock nuts. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.